I've seen a lot of games, and I have a feeling this one is going to be special. Before we hit our top five player countdown, let's look at the comeback player of the year, the guy most clutch late in the fourth quarter of ball games, game-winning touchdown against the Titans in the opener, a game-winning touchdown in week three against Sidney Thornton. That's pretty good, but it continues. A game-winning touchdown in week 14 at the Browns, and one week later, a game-winning scoring drive led by Bradshaw, a sensational clutch season for the Pittsburgh quarterback setting up in week 15, the game-winning field goal from Jarella. Speaking of field goals, the special teams player of the year was the Vikings' Gary Anderson, 90% on field goals this season. He was three for four on kicks beyond 50. His long range kicks were sensational with a long of 57 seen right here. A thing of beauty from Anderson, the special teams player of the year. Now let's look at the top five best players of the greatest team season. Our lone defender is the Steelers' Jack Lambert, a sensational year. 88 tackles, 13 for loss, two sacks, Six interceptions, including three in one game. Here's a look at all of them against the Packers. He also had a league high, four forced fumbles and three defensive touchdowns. A dominant season for the Steel Curtain, leading the Steelers to the Dream Bowl. Lambert, leading the way for the best defense in the greatest team season in points, was a huge reason for their success. Now to the top four, where this was almost inarguable in terms of who were in this top four. Tom Brady, the odd man out for the Offensive Player of the Year, but he was sensational throughout the season. The quarterback of the best team in the AFC at 11-5. He was the league's premier passer at 4,626 yards. He, in fact, had three game-winning drives, one against the Jets, also the Broncos and the Jaguars, where he guided game winners. 30 touchdowns, the nine interceptions for the quarterback Tom Brady of the Patriots. The number three greatest player, the greatest team season. His numbers are off the charts. 6.5 yards per carry, just an incredible season. He had seven games of over 100 yards, including 186 against the Dallas Cowboys in week four. Just a terrific season for TD. And he was an unstoppable force late in the season, helping guiding the Broncos to a first round bye in the greatest team's playoffs. With over 1,400 yards rushing, TD. While Davis had great numbers, Walter Payton, the triple crown winner for rushing, was just a little bit better. 277 carries for 1,560 yards and 17 rushing touchdowns. Most specifically, his yards after contact. He had 857. He was tough to bring down, and in fact, as soon as he got touched, that seemed to be when he was a little bit better rushing the football. The 85 Bears leaned on Peyton. Sweetness number two. And the number one greatest player of the greatest team season. Not a huge surprise. The league MVP, San Francisco signal caller, Joe Montana. Number one in completions at 73%. Number one in quarterback rating at a 119.1. He was number one in fewest interceptions thrown and the leader of so many game-winning drives. Led by Montana, the Niners had the best record in football and are Dream Bowl bound to face the Steelers this weekend. That is the number one player of the greatest team season.